The Border Skirmish is an event shared between North Shield and the Mid-Realm. Many years ago, Lucia and Morgan sat the thrones of North Shield and hosted their Majesty's Mid-Realm. There was then royal court in the evening, as many of you might have guessed. Melvichel, affectionately known as Uncle Mikey in our kingdom, <laughs> Melvichel was the herald for North Shield's courts. Sat there behind, stood there behind their majesties, Lucia and Morgan, and proceeded through the litany of usual herald's lines that you're here in a court. And in fact, he proceeded on autopilot to call the populace to swear their fealty to the middle crowd. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got to realize that North Shield was a part of the Middle Kingdom for quite a long time. Long, long before I was granted a silver oak. And Movichel had been a herald for a long, long time. He had, you know, 20 plus years of ingrained and, and oft repeated lines. But he nearly died of shame right then. He actually turned to his majesty and said, take my head. <laughs> um, and, and there was a bit more fun to be had with the Herald, as you might imagine. At, at which point, a few people turn and said, Darian, Darian, you have to capture this. I said, I'm already working on it. <laughs> uh, the tune is The Garden Where the Praties Grow by Johnny Francis Patterson. <laughs> Um, you will probably know it more as Pat Cooksey's The Sick Note, that he acknowledges where the music came from originally. Malvichel's mouth, one simple gaff, it wasn't all that bad. The furor that resulted, though, was just a little sad. The slip took place beside his king with oaths of fealty. In North Shield's court, he called them to the Mid-Realm's royalty. Loyalty. He took it with a willing grace when our king called his shiv. In fact, he'd cried out, take my head. He didn't want to live. The king was certain there was crime. There wasn't not at all. Just ancient words oft said before, automatically recalled. Now the matter of his sentencing was handed to the knights, who stood deliberating much about this herald's rights. Should he tattoo his body with dear North Shield's compass star? <laughs> or kiss the handsome Duke Sir Lars? Which one leaves the lasting scar? <laughs> Sorry, Lars. <laughs> Music's memory is famed. The crowd called for a song. Commemorate for us the time when someone else went wrong. <laughs> Yet our crowns wise and showed restraint. Now you damned well better say. In spite of all, thank God, Movichel's here in court today. <laughs>